Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The, the School Zone. Zone. Alright, when we last left off, we had just uh, arrived at Caldwin's Bridge, sort of completed the first half or so, and uh, we are going to continue from here where we left off. But uh, I'm in a really good mood, and I had a little creative spark this morning and decided to do something a little different in this episode. I thought I'd open it up to all of you. So instead of me giving the factoids in this episode, I'm going to ask you guys to see if you can notice anything interesting or educational in the environment as we go through today's Let's Walk Through gameplay and see if you guys can add anything to the conversation. So if you see something that comes up that's worth giving some factoid about, then put it in the After School Club, which, as you know, is the comment section on the School Zone channel. Well, I'm very interested to see what you guys come up with in today's episode. Kind of like uh, if you go to a concert and the lead singer holds out the microphone to the audience and uh, it's their turn to sing the chorus, so to speak. We'll see what happens. It's all an experiment. Okay, so when we left off in the last episode, we took a little bit of damage. I'll show you why, because this section of the tracks is electrocuted right here. So we might as well go over and grab this little food. And I don't think there's... Yeah. Might as well not leave that behind. Waste not, want not, right? Alright, instead of jumping in this, I'm just going to blink into it. And let's head over to the other side. see how many guys we got. One, two, three. Not too bad. I think there's some more, though. They're kind of hiding a little bit. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. That's a lot of enemies. Got a lot of enemies. Got a lot of enemies trying to drain me of my mana. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. So we are going to... Ooh, bolt opportunity. What the? Oh, I'll find you. When I find you, it's going to be bad. Yeah, nice. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to teleport over here. And see if I can't get all these guys to sort of come together in one place. Ooh, almost fell off there. And uh, do our little swarm grenade trick. Alright, looks like it's going to work. Alright, there's one guy left here. I know you're you just... Oh, nasty. Oh my god, I decapitated the guy. Alright. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Citizens and visitors to our okay, that was a little... Order of the that was a little crazy there. So we'll make a nice pile for the uh, for the rats to feed upon right here. Okay, so they'll take care of business over there. And I'm going to run in here and see if there's any of that food left. And there is. Got, got a couple of good sword blows in on us. That's all right. He just went crazy and then lost his head. <laughs> All right, so they did a pretty good job. It usually takes a few, uh, a few summons unless you have the level two summoning of the rats, which we don't yet, because we are saving up for that. Possession. Let's take a quick peek down here and see what we got. 
Ooh, there's a guy way down there. Let's see if we can get him. Don't move, don't move. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's another one. Don't move, don't move. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, this game is so much friggin' fun. Sorry. Okay, so if I remember correctly, I think we can blink onto chains. Nice. Okay, so let's take a quick peek up here because I think uh, there's going to be some rune action. I can hear the whisper already. Ah, yes. Rune, very nice. One of five. And now we can go back through here. Okay, so let me take a quick peek. I'm pretty sure I need one more rune before I get the possession. Yep, four out of five. All right, we are very close. Let's take a peek and see where the next one is. None over here, but there's a bone charm not too far away. <laughs> Look at the rats. Taking gear the last of the evidence. Okay, so... I saw Slackjaw with your mother. Yeah, I saw him with your father. Uh, we talked about graffiti in a previous episode. So let's keep rolling. Um, you know, I could blink down there, but let's just go ahead and go the long way so I can just see if there's anything else we might have missed down here. Always good to be thorough. Yes, indeed. There is a grenade I would have missed. So let's grab that. Very precious grenade. You know, I just felt like throwing a bottle down there. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. So let's take a peek down here. Yes, there's a corpse down there. Let's investigate that real quick. Yep, and he's lootable. Nice. Okay. So... I think we did pretty good around here. Let's move on to the next area. Can we blink up there? Should be able to. Why is it being finicky? There we go. Okay, we can't quite see around there yet, so let's head on up here. And then peek around the corner. Okay, so we're not going to go through there just yet. Let's check this area out. Actually, we're doing pretty good on health now. Eating a lot of that food that we usually leave behind. But I do that just in case I need to run back and refill it. No sense in uh, eating it if you're not low on health. It's a sensible thing to do, right? Don't want to waste food now. Okay, I'm running through this area because I took out those two guards. And I'm pretty confident there's none left here, but let's just take a peek. All right, I see a switch here. I think that's going to lower this bridge. Yep. And that will probably lead us to the bone charm, which I think is going to be right up there. So let's just play it safe here. Sneak on up to this area. Okay, let's see if we can... Ooh, he's coming in here. This is this a problem? Maybe not. <laughs> there we go. We got the jump on him. Okay, so Bone Charm. Yes, indeed. Carmine Cameo. Bone Charm. Albinos. Got a little save point. Hmm. 
nothing else really in here. Okay, so let's check out our bone charm situation. You encounter white rats slightly more often. Okay, now that's kind of interesting because we have this rat scent. And if we can make it so that the white rats won't attack us and they'll appear more often, then combined with this, that could be a good, a good little combination there. So let me see what I can unequip. These are all important. You know, we haven't been doing a lot of swimming, and I think I can turn these on if we ever need to do some deep diving. So let me uncheck those two, turn on the more white rats, and then turn back on the white rat's friend. So, doing the best with what we got, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's, uh, let's go back around the proper way. Okay, to Drawbridge Way. Well now, Mr. Pratchett, even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right, and the weepers... Excuse me, the plague... Oh, I see a little pup there. Are you saying the Lord... Curfew? It won't do you any good to bait me, officer. But don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll profit. A smart man can come out ahead, even in the time of plague. Sure, like that Sokolov. He's doing fine. Always a lot of exotic items coming and going from his place. Keeps this place running, at least for now. Yes, yes, if by exotic you mean foul-smelling as a witch's bottom. <laughs> the royal physician will be fine too until he crosses the wrong man. Don't come this way. All right, good boy. All right, so let me take out this dog. So he doesn't become a, a walking alarm there. Okay, so this guy seems to be the lord of this little manor here. So let's see if we can take out this guard real quick and then we'll go loot his place. Nice. Okay. Let's head up here now. We've got somewhat free reign of the place. But before we go straight in his front door, let's see if we can check out what's going on up here first. You guys seeing anything so far that's uh, worth schooling? I've seen a few things. Ooh, there's the purple light. That means there's another rune. In fact... Yep. One... Oh, two of them. Oh, man. We're gonna get stocked up on this episode. Okay. So, not really much to grab out of here. Oh, I saw that guy down there. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna come to him last. I wanna... Oh. <laughs> Crazy guy up there. As he turns around, let's just head on up there and grab that rune, because then we'll have the uh, possession. And you know what? I think he's a survivor, so I'm not going to kill him. I'm just going to choke him out. Maybe set him down on this... Uh... Yeah, this little mattress here. Jeez. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to throw you in a bottle there. <laughs> Medicinal herbs, dead dude, a couple of coins, and a note. All right, let's check it out. Journal entry, part one. 19th day, month of seeds. What will I do? She left and took her things, back to her family, as if that will help. The plague will get us all. Third day, month of nets. I've been offered work on one of the whaling boats. 
I'll be leaving this place at last. Later, I will find a place on Tibia to the north. The winters are cold there, no rats, no plague. He does have a point there, actually. Disease has a more difficult time spreading in colder climates. Of course, simultaneously, your immune system is slightly suppressed in colder climates, so it probably evens out, but uh, he is on to something there. Maybe somebody uh, could elaborate on that whole thing in the After School Club. 28th day, month of nets, last day of the month. My fortunes have turned. I found something shiny, shiny and old. Looks like a whalebone, which is supposed to be lucky. Okay. Yep, this is probably part two indeed. Let's check this one out. That's just food over there. We don't need to be eating no hagfish right now. Sixth day, month of rain. My cousin Emil, or Emil, bringing a bird to roast. I'm going to see if any of the shops are still open. Maybe I can buy apples or some potatoes. Tenth day, month of rain. I put my whalebone carving on a shelf, but I could not see it from some parts of the room. So I made a little pedestal for it. It looks nice in the candlelight. Starting to get a little obsessed with it. Fifteenth day, month of rain. Sometimes I dream about it. In the dreams, it makes sounds like the wind through a broken window. On some nights, the wind sounds like a voice. I was supposed to go to the docks to ship out, but I remember too late. It was days ago. So this thing is kind of corrupting his mind, making him lose jobs and stuff. I think it's going to progressively get, get worse here. I have a feeling with that dude on the ground. That's probably Emil. Journal entry, part three. 18th day, month of rain. My cousin came, but we fought over it. When I came into the room, he was holding it. I screamed at him and we fought. Now I'm filled with remorse. 26th day, month of rain. He's still sitting in the corner across from the candles. He was a thief. Second day, month of wind. I wonder how he knew about it. Coming to dinner was a trick. Maybe he told others. Ooh, he's starting to get paranoid. Seventh day, month of wind. Barricades in the halls outside. It is safe now. Eleventh day, month of wind. The watch came, taking people away. The neighbors. Someone in the building has the rat plague. Gone now. It promises to protect me. Each night it promises. Alright, so this thing has quite a corrupting effect, I think, on people. That must be his cousin. Didn't even give him a funeral. Alright, let's grab the rune and see what the outsider has to say. Rivers change course over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. He wasn't chosen, and he doesn't wear my mark so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting. So I don't know quite what to make of this guy, the outsider, yet. He's definitely an interesting cat. Okay, so that's a whole new section down there. We'll get to that probably in the next episode, but we got to go do a little raiding of this uh, old miser here. Oh, let's just hop on up here. Okay, so he's got a little roof balcony. See if we can see him. Oh, there he is. I should cut them out entirely. All of them. You know what? Let's go ahead and take him out so that uh What did she expect? I told her they were trash. And grab his key. What? Uh oh. Nope, you didn't see nothing. Man, I knew he was gonna see me around those stairs. Just keep walking. Don't make me waste a sleep Probably dart on you. Jeez. <laughs> Okay, now we got some uh, some room to come on up behind him. We'll just go ahead and choke him out. 
He also doesn't look like a guard. And we're robbing his place anyway. Okay, so we grab some kind of key off of him. Uh, we definitely need this spiritual remedy. So let's take a quick peek and see. I'm hearing that, uh, that hiss. It's probably from upstairs. Yeah, it's probably it right there, as a matter of fact. Let's go ahead and open these up while we're here. Cratchit. Oh, he's the guy that makes the uh, jelly to eels. Carmine Sexton. We actually covered that in a previous episode. There's a plate. Yeah, we don't need that. Oh, and there's a book. Oh, Young Prince of Tibia. We read that in a previous episode. Nice. This is kind of one of those episodes where we just sort of scoot along here. Head back upstairs and see if I missed anything. Okay, so that goes to the balcony. Let's see what we got around here. A few things. The Isle of Morley. I don't think we've read that one yet. If I have, then, you know, just skip it through the annotation as usual. But let's check it out. Excerpt from a volume on Morley geography and culture. It's said that the history of Morley is as colorful as a quilt made from all the flags ever flown and all the clothes ever worn. The land itself hides from the sun under a layer of clouds, and a thick gray moss hangs from the trees. But the spirit of the people who live in Morley dances like the firelight. Among the people, the love of good food and drink is legendary, with stews and roasted meat dishes most often used to fight off the cold and the dreariness. The nation has a rich tradition of poets, musicians, and philosophers, even among the poorest folk. Intellectual tomes and bar songs alike were often penned in Morley. A late entry into the empire, the Morley insurrection is still a sore point for many natives, and independence is a proud character trait among the people. So I don't know if you guys have noticed this or not, but a lot of the islands uh, in the map of the game, I think Bristol is the archipelago, I can't remember, but uh, I've noticed that a lot of them seem to have cultural flavors that are very similar to countries in the real world. So for example, to me personally, this sounds a lot like maybe Ireland or something, but uh, if you guys have any insight as to what some of the I other islands or regions in the area might be sort of uh, analogous to or, you know, an isomorph of, then, uh, then definitely let us know in the After School Club. Moving on. All right, so we got a safe here. Yeah, we don't know the combination yet, but I'm sure it'll come upon us somewhere around here. Oh, like maybe right there. Grab that cigarette case and let's read this. Remember that the truth is in the paintings. Ah, see, there's the clue. The way to the truth starts in the crowded streets. Continue until you see an anchored whaling ship. From there, find the slaughterhouse and the truth will be revealed to you. Okay, so he's probably giving us the order of the paintings to look at. So we want to look at the crowded streets first, the whaling ship, and then the slaughterhouse. So... Crowded streets first, slaughterhouse last. There's the whaling ship, so that's going to be the middle one, number three. We haven't been downstairs yet, let's check that out. Okay, a couple of things in here. Man, we're doing pretty good on... Rewire tools. I think this just goes outside. Yep. Okay, crowded streets. Ah, the big number four there. Okay, so it's going to be four, three, and then whatever the slaughterhouse was on that top level. Or maybe it's the middle level. All right, now, getting disoriented there. <laughs> oh, crowded street. Okay, four. 
Oh, we didn't grab that thing. The war medal. War three. Okay, it's got to be up here. Probably just missed it somewhere. Here we go. Four three seven. All right, let's give that a try. Okay, so you know what? I think that I mixed up the order. I think this is probably seven, and this is probably three. There we go. All right, I see what they did there. He made you go down, up, and then to the middle to get the uh, answers from those pictures. But it was worth it because there are two fairly large sized gold bars there and a rune which I'm very happy about because now let's come out here for our grand unveiling of the human possession power. Definitely, we'll take that. It's gonna get pretty interesting now. Just taking a peek and seeing if there's anything else worth checking out. <laughs> There's our sleeping dog. Yep, unconscious. Oh, we can grab some of these uh, little rats for mana. Yeah. All right, so when we uh, start approaching this area, I have a feeling there's going to be some action. So we'll take care of that in the next episode. So I just want to say thanks again for watching. Hope you guys had an opportunity to contribute to the uh, discussion down in the after school club. And even if you, you know, need to rewind and check some other things out, or if you just want to answer other people's suggestions, it's all part of the discussion. You know, that's what uh, that's what it's all about. Some of my favorite classes in um, high school and college were the ones where the teachers sort of just open it up for people to chat and discuss some interesting things on the topic of the day. And uh, that's kind of the, the uh, feeling that I want to recreate in the uh, in the discussion area. So hope you had fun with that. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button if you're getting some education out of this. And we'll see you in the next episode.